This is the video for the pre-algebra section, finding the average or the mean, median, and mode. First of all, for average or the mean, you'll find at the top of the instructions of the math ACT section the sentence that says, the word average indicates arithmetic mean. So what they're really saying if you see average or mean in the problem, it's meaning the same thing for the purposes of this test. So let's look at our first example. Matt has the following grades in his science class, a 92, 85, 96, and 100. If he has one more test to take in the class, what must he make to finish the grading period with an average of 90? So first of all, let's look at how he's done so far with the four tests he's already taken. We're going to take those four tests, add them up, and we get 373 points. That's 373 out of a possible 400. Now, to make a 90 average with five grades, we know that with five grades, there's a possibility of 500 points. So we take that 500 and we multiply that by 0.9 and you get 450. So he needs 450 points out of the possible 500 to have a 90 average. So we know he already has 373 from those first four tests. We'll subtract that from 450, and he just needs to make a 77 to pull a 90 for that particular class. So your answer is 77. The next problem says the baseball team sold meal tickets to raise money for the season. If the following number of tickets were sold by each of the players, what is the mean, median and mode for ticket sales. And then they give you the number of ticket sales each person made. Now in this particular problem, we're looking for three different things. We're looking for the mean, the median, and the mode. So let's start off with mean. And remember from our first slide, we're talking about the average basically. So there are 10 different ticket sales, 10 different players. So we're gonna take each one of those numbers add them up and it comes up to a sum of 253. And to get the mean or the average, we take the sum and divide that by the number of players that sold tickets, which was 10. And so we get a mean or average of 25.3. Now we were also asked to find the median and the median is basically the middle number. To find the middle number, we need to take our ticket sales and arrange them in order from least to greatest. There are a total of 10 players that sold tickets. That's an even number. When there's an even number, there is not just one middle number because you have, for example, for the 10, you have five numbers on one side and five numbers on the other side. So to find the median of an even number, you take the two middle positions, and for 10, that would be five and six, the fifth and sixth position, and you divide by two and that will give you your median. If you have an odd number, let's say you had five numbers, you do have a med middle number with an odd number. For five as your number, three is your middle number. So you would take the third position as your median. So now for the 10 numbers we have in our example, we're gonna look at the fifth and sixth positions, which hold 20 and 22. We'll add those up, divide by two, and we get a median of 21. For mode, which is basically a number that occurs most often in the set, we again can look at this ordered set very easily and see that there are three 20s. Every other number only occurs once. So our mode is 20. It's the number that occurs most often. This is the test yourself question. You can pause the video now and try it for yourself. The answer to test yourself is B, 2.9. Let's take a look at it. Susan is an advertising manager and prepares a monthly report for her supervisor. Susan's monthly sales are in the chart below. What is the average number of Susan's ads per magazine to the nearest 0.1 or 10th position? So when we take a look at the chart, we have the number of Susan's ads in a magazine. She ranges from having just one ad in a magazine up to five, and then the number of magazines with this total. Okay, so the first thing what we wanna look at is if she has three magazines with one ad, how many total ads does she have? One times three is three. She has five magazines that have two ads in them, so two times five is 10. Seven magazines with three ads, so that's 21 ads, four magazines that have four ads, 
that's 16, and two magazines with five ads in them, that's 10. So our total number of ads across all of the magazines is 60. Now let's look at how many magazines she has ads in. We add up that column and we get 21. So she has 60 total ads in 21 magazines. We'll just take the, those two numbers, divide 60 over 21. We get 2.9 as our average number of ads per magazine.